Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over something that I swear if you stay to the end of this video you will learn something that will completely change the game for your writing and publishing career. I've been editing um, a bunch of videos. Uh, I just put up uh, the video about how to find your audience and I guess I will put that up here for you to take a look at after you watch the rest of this video, obviously. And if you don't know how that works, just scroll down to the bottom and you can find the end cards and stuff like that. But something dawned on me. The most important things that I have done, the most transformative things I have done for my writing, for my career, have been the things that needed to be done. Now, this is going to, I'm going to quote, I don't even know who the fuck it is that I'd be quoting, but there's a saying, okay? And this saying is so fucking true. And while I was editing this last video, this saying kept popping up into my head. And it is, necessity is the mother of invention, okay? Now, a lot of you have probably heard that before, but I'm going to give you some like real world things on how I ended up using that without even knowing I was using that. So the first thing would be I needed to build a website when I first started and I immediately just mattwall.com and nope that's taken and there's a bunch of other fucking matt walls out there and i'm like oh that fucking sucks and then i was just thinking about all my shit and i'm like you know what like i'm really fucking self-deprecating all my shit's really depressing <sighs> like how about i hate mattwall.com let's see how that goes and then like it turned into this whole thing i'm like well like if i fucking go out there saying i fucking hate myself like there's nothing that any of you guys could say that's going to make me feel worse about me than I already feel about me. You know what I'm saying? And then because of that, it became really catchy. And when I first put the website together, I put it together because I was about to go on tour, like a uh, acoustic tour across the country. And so I did the, like my email address, the I hate Matt wall at Gmail dot com. And when I started sending out, like, my press packs to the different venues and the different radio stations in the towns where I was going to be playing, the thing that always came up, and I think this is how I even got through the door, was that, like, the people who I was sending my stuff to, like, were either cracked up at my website name and email, or were... Like, just so, like, why would you ever do that? Like, they wanted to ask me the question. And if they wanted to ask me the question, that meant they wanted me on their show. Or they wanted me, like, in the town so I could answer their question for them kind of thing. So that turned into me doing the logo thing that I'll put right here or something. That just became something that stuck. You know what I'm saying? So moving from there to like Poetic Anarchy and how that whole thing fucking started was that I have been looking and looking and looking and looking for years for poetry that I like. For the most part, the poetry that I have found that I really, really love is poetry that comes out of Southern California or that came out of Southern California in between the early to mid 60s through the early 80s like I could almost pick anybody who fits that criteria and know that I'll really fucking like their shit and so and then that spreads a little bit you know like um the people that those people inspired and influenced you know you like start going down rabbit trails and finding all these people so that was the thing. But then something seemed to happen around the mid-80s into the 90s where those types of poets just kind of stopped. And the thing that fucking cracks me up about this, 
and this might be a topic for another day on another video. After Bukowski died, I really feel like that whole type of poetry kind of died. It wasn't much later after that that a lot of the little magazines that he was still being printed in started going under. It's just one of those funny fucking things. So, like, one of the things I do is search for old copies of all those old magazines to try to find that and find the people that are in it. But the thing that was bothering me was was that I felt like there wasn't anything new. Like, there hasn't been any rock star fucking poets. Yes, there's the Insta poets. That's fine. Yes, there are um, the bigger modern free verse poets. But, like, they don't speak to me, you know, the way those older poets did. So I started, and this sounds stupid now, but, like, even at the time, this was what it was. I started Poetic Anarchy as a workshop just because I was hoping to find poetry that I liked out there. I was hoping, like, I'm like, you know what, God damn it, motherfucker, if I can't just fucking go online and find a fucking poem that I want to read that's like the way I want to read it, like, I at least want to mold somebody to start writing the way I want to have something to fucking read. And that's kind of a silly way to look at it, but my necessity to find something good to read led to me doing a workshop, which led to me doing a second workshop, which led to me doing this um, channel and having the Anarchy Crew membership, which is doing amazingly, which led me to wanting to start putting those people out. So I was putting out the Poetic Anarchy anthologies, and then I started putting out the Blood Rag, and now I'm putting out the Bloodshed Review, and now I'm starting to actually put out the work of these poets. Okay? So, and basically starting Poetic Anarchy Press. So Poetic Anarchy Press, like, it wasn't like, I'm like, I'm going to start a press! It was like, I want something to fucking read that's good. And that snowballed into the next thing, okay? So whatever it is that you want to do, like, think about, or if you don't even know what you want to do, think about the things that you fucking want. Like, what is something that you fucking desire right now? Like, close your eyes and just think of, like, what is it that you desire? Like, what creatively do you want? Like, if you can have in your hand right now anything to read, anything to watch, anything to play with, whatever the fuck it is, what the fuck would you want more than anything right now? Now that you figured out what that is, think of something you can do right now to take a step towards making that a reality. And as you do that, all of these things will fall into place because two years ago when I started Poetic Anarchy or not Poetic Anarchy Press but the just the Poetic Anarchy Workshop if two years ago you would have told me that I would be doing Poetic Anarchy Press to the level that I'm doing it right now based off of me starting a workshop because I wanted something to read I would have fucking told you you were fucking batshit fucking crazy okay if you would have told me Years ago, when I started IHateMattWall.com, just so I could have a website to hawk my music to the venues and the radio stations and the towns I was playing at, and have that turn into what this is now, I would have fucking told you you were nuts. You know? Like, I didn't know in 2016, 2015, 2016, that poetry would just fucking consume my life. And all my other ventures, whether it be music or novels or filmmaking or any of this shit, would be, like, completely by the wayside, you know? And the whole reason why I started this fucking YouTube channel in the first place was because I was tired of going on BookTube trying to find people talking about books that I liked. So I started this channel just to be able to talk about fucking Burroughs and Bukowski and Hunter S. Thompson and Kurt Vonnegut and... Kafka and Hamson and Dost and all these motherfuckers, you know, because everyone on BookTube was just talking about new shit. And I wanted to talk about pulps. I wanted to talk about comics. 
and I wanted to talk about the poetry that I fucking liked. And now this whole channel has turned into a, a writing help channel based on poetry, writing tip videos and shit. You know, so like you never know how something that you need at the time is going to snowball into the thing that makes you who you are later in life. But like you're never going to figure that out unless you figure out what it is you want and fucking invent the thing that you need as a necessity. You know what I'm saying? You you just have to fucking go and take baby steps and just fucking do the shit. I hope this has been helpful. And if it has been helpful, please hit the like button. Please join the fucking Anarchy Crew if you're digging this shit. I have over 150 other videos of, like, tips and assignments and workshops. And then plus we have the weekly live streams and the fucking Poetic Anarchy anthologies that you could be in when you join the fucking Anarchy Crew. If you have any questions about anything, let me know down below and I'll make a video of them. So, type hard, everybody. Until next time, I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.